I've talked about the hundreds of cybersecurity jobs and roles in a recent video, but I didn't talk much about salaries. So here I'm going to go through the same roles as in that video and talk about salaries as well. Now keep in mind that the numbers are approximate. I always say that it is ultimately up to your negotiation abilities for how much you're going to receive. If you have exceptional skills, you should not settle for low pay. Anyway, this is not a school of life video, so let's get into the numbers, which I've compiled from two sources, infosecjobs.com and glassdoor.com. First off is the cybersecurity analyst, which is, uh, as we've seen, is responsible for analyzing and assessing security threats to an organization's uh, network and implementing appropriate security measures. Now, on infosecjobs.com, uh, you can see that the global security analyst salary is around $80,000 a year. This is actually the median salary for a cybersecurity analyst. So the median is about $80,000 globally. And this salary, um, this information is based on 97 individual uh, annual salaries reported during 2020 and 2021. Now on glassdoor.com, we can see that the total pay for all experiences, all years of experience, all industries, the total pay for a cybersecurity analyst is about $87,500. While we can see that the base pay is actually 81,000 and you have an addition of uh, $6,000 per year. We can see that the range is between 69,000 to 112,000. That's actually the most likely range. And there's also a possible range. So this is pretty solid data from glassdoor.com. Now, second, a penetration tester, as we've seen, is specialized in uh, simulating cyber attacks to test an organization's security measures and identify vulnerabilities. This is not all that pen testers do but as i've explained you can watch the previous video to see uh, to see my insights or the job description on a penetration tester now a penetration tester the global salary on infosecjobs.com is global penetration tester salary is about 96k that's actually the median salary globally and this is actually based on 43 annual salaries that have been reported to this website now on uh, Glassdoor, we can see that the total pay is about $97,000, $98,000 and the base pay is about $90,000 to $91,000. And we can see that the most likely range salary in this case is from $75K to $128K. All right, moving on to Cloud Security Engineer, which uh, as we've seen is responsible for designing, integrating and testing tools for a uh, company's cloud infrastructure. Now, the global cloud security engineer salary that has been reported in uh, on uh, so has been reported based on 10 annual salaries on infosecjobs.com is about 110k. And on Glassdoor, we can see that the total pay uh, for a cloud security engineer is about 125k, and the base salary is around 100 or 102k. Now we can see that the range for this is between 97 and 162k. So, as I said in the beginning of the of the video, it is up to your um, individual skills, individual negotiation skills. Number four, malware analyst, who is responsible for diving deep into and cracking malicious software to understand its nature and often to disarm it. So a malware analyst, and we only have information for, from a glass store, makes about 87K with the base pay of 80K and an additional pay of 7K. And we can see that the most likely range for this uh, job is from 68K to 112K. Cybersecurity consultant is responsible for uh, providing expert advice and guidance to organizations on how to improve their security posture and prevent cyber attacks. Now, a cybersecurity consultant has a uh, pay, which has been reported on Glassdoor, around 107k, with a base pay of about 82k, which is pretty 
interesting so we have a base pay about of about 82k and an additional pay of about 25k and the range for this one the most likely range for this job the most likely salary range is between 82k and 141k now cybersecurity educator this uh, is responsible or teaches students and uh, professionals about cybersecurity tactics best practices and techniques to discover and also protect against uh, threats vulnerabilities and cyber attacks now again uh, the only uh, reports we have is or are from uh, glassdoor.com and a cybersecurity instructor would make about 68k as a total pay so a base pay of 63k and an additional of 5k now that could be bonuses the 13th salary and so on and so forth now the most likely range for this uh, uh, job the most likely range of salary is between 52k to 89k so we we've got a relatively large pool in there devsecops engineer as i said previously as a devsecops engineer you're responsible for integrating security into devops pipeline using or pipelines using various tools and processes now a DevSecOps uh, engineer on Glassdoor.com or according to Glassdoor.com makes roughly 128k with a base pay of 115k and a, an additional pay of 12k. Now the most likely range um, in terms of salaries in this case is between 102k and 163k. Now, cybersecurity architect, who's responsible for creating the overall security plans and policies for an organization, including the implementation of technical controls and risk management strategies. Now, a uh, global cybersecurity architect, as reported uh, to uh, by 21 individuals uh, on infosecjobs.com, is about 125k, and according to uh, Glassdoor.com the report is quite different here so we have a total pay of 161k with the base pay of 120k and additional pay in bonuses um, additional salaries and so on and so forth different types of compensations extra compensations is 40k so plus the most likely range of salaries for a cybersecurity architect in this case is between 125k to 211k so very very large pool depending uh, on your negotiation skills the roles the position the whether or not you have to go into the office i think that uh, there are a lot of variables to play in here and of course we can see here uh, we have the all years of experience and all industries okay now finally the chief information security officer salary is 140k so this is based on 11 uh, on 18 uh, salaries that have been reported to the platform and as uh, for glassdoor.com a CISO the total pay is actually 255k with the base pay of 165 and a compensation or additional pay of about 90k which is a lot so we have a most likely range here between 193k to 344k so wow you don't actually want to be just a penetration tester or let's say a bug bounty hunter who actually works for free now again this is not an extensive list uh, with exact numbers but an approximation and if you're good at what you do you should always aim higher in your demands you should adopt the perspective of you hiring the company, asking them why they would be a good fit for you. It's a much better approach than taking whatever is offered to you. Remember, you can always have the upper hand.